Hey guys, what's up? So uh, today has been quite a day. First things first, you may or may not have noticed that the video that I uploaded the other day had to be taken down for reasons that I can't talk about. Uh, not a huge deal, but was it? I, I don't know. I can't say anything. I'm not gonna say anything more than that, but it's gone now if you got to watch it. Awesome, if you didn't, I'm sorry. It's gone forever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that sucks. But moving on from that, I want to talk about another thing that bummed me out pretty <laughs> pretty badly is the fact that I just found out today that my insurance is not covering Dr. Chen as an in-network provider for my stricture repair surgery coming up on April 26th. So that was that hit me pretty hard because I found out that in order to proceed to have surgery with Dr. Chen that I would have to pay $5,000 up front like out of pocket. And my regular out-of-pocket max for an in-network provider is uh, $2,400, uh, but like $5,000 just straight up front is a lot. <laughs> and I don't have that. I don't just have that to to get to give right away in a month. And it it makes me especially anxious because this is a surgery that. I'm gonna need within this certain time frame. Like I can't just save up five thousand dollars and then wait to have the surgery. This is a surgery that has a bit more urgency to it, uh, for the fact that my stricture is getting worse progressively. So I don't want to end up into the point where I was last time, where I had like an emergency surgery because I saw Dr. Chen and went into surgery the same day because I could barely pee and. I want to prevent that from happening. So I want to have this surgery at least within this time frame because I would like to make my anxiety uh, a lot easier. I would not like to end up in the point where I'm in an emergency room or that I'm having a catheter or any of those things. So what I'm doing to try to get this approved is I had to fill out a continuation of care application to send in myself to my insurance and I have a case manager kind of helping me out with that. So they called Dr. Chen's office and kind of saw what the deal was there. And then they called me back and told me that basically what I'm doing by submitting a uh, continuation of care and then filling that application out and giving them my more detail of my case that I might have a better chance of getting it approved as in-network. If that doesn't work, then I can file an appeal. The problem with that is that appeals generally, they can take up to 30 days. And I have, that's like right up to the point of when my surgery is. So depending on the surgery, sometimes you can qualify for like an expedited uh, appeal process which I may or may not qualify for. It's kind of leaning on the side of like a maybe because all this is, is like a urgent surgery. It's not scheduled like urgently. It's still scheduled a month out. So that might be what disqualifies me as having it as being expedited. If I'm sorry if none of this really makes sense, my brain is about to explode just thinking about this all day long. <laughs> so I don't wanna like ramble on too much about the little teeny details of everything but basically in a nutshell this sucks i'm gonna have to jump through a lot of hoops but i will fight as hard as i can because dr chen is worth fighting for <laughs> my health is worth fighting for and i can't imagine going to any other surgeon for this surgery whatsoever i don't think they understand how important it is to see a surgeon that actually knows your body knows what they're doing and who has been with you through each stage of this surgery and I don't even know who else I could go to nor would I want to go to anyone else so I'm just really crossing my fingers that things are gonna work out for the better <laughs> I'm gonna keep fighting for it and I think they said I should find out about my uh, continuation of care application being approved or not by next Friday sometime. And uh, the lady who's helping me out is actually really nice and she's on top of things. And so that's really nice to know. Uh, so yeah, that is the update of my life. 
this week. I, <laughs> uh, hopefully tomorrow is better. It, at least I got some sunshine today. It stopped raining for a day. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow though. But uh, I can't wait for some sunshine. I hope that comes next week. I can't wait to uh, uh, get all this insurance stuff figured out because having a stricture, like my other main concern is if it gets worse quicker and I'm like 15 days away from now and I need surgery, uh, what happens? So yeah, also one thing I will also update on, update on is that I now have tank tops out they're not quite on the website yet. I'm gonna try and get these on by tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. So these are what they look like. Look like. This is a large, if you're wondering why it looks so big on me. <laughs> so yeah, got tank tops, ready for the spring, summer, sun's out, guns out, that kind of thing. Uh, so these will be on my website by tomorrow, so make sure to check that out. And yeah, that's it guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please send good vibes my way or any advice or anything of that sort. Or if you've had a situation like this, uh, feel free to share that down below. And uh, yeah, peace out guys. I'll see you next time.